Hello and welcome from me, Guy Monson, to our regular Six Minute Strategy. I've entitled this session, So What Could Go Wrong? The World Equity Index has risen by an impressive 8% this year. This time the returns were not just from the US technology and AI winners, but also from equities in Europe, plus 11%, and Japan, plus 12.5%, as market leadership starts to broaden out. Looking ahead, corporate earnings for 2024 look robust at around 10 to 15% growth, while dividends will likely rise by nearly 7%. Share buybacks, too, will likely hit fresh highs. Combine this with inflation falling back to target in most major economies without triggering recession, and you have an almost Goldilocks economic backdrop to add to this bullish picture. When so many investment traffic lights are turning green, though, it's of course just the time that investor complacency starts to creep in. I thought that we should therefore use this six minute strategy to look at the risks to today's equity rally and how we can try and mitigate them. My worries fall into three categories. First, equity market risks around valuation and excessive concentration. Second, bond market risks as government deficits balloon. And third, the impact of trade barriers and tariffs. We'll look at each of these risks in more detail in the slides ahead and what they mean for your portfolio. With interest rates likely to start falling across Western markets from the middle of the year, it's encouraging to see equity fundamentals are so robust. Earnings forecasts for full year 2024 are up between 10 and 15% in most regions of the world. Dividends should rise around 7%. That's a very powerful increase with inflation trading towards 2%. And share buybacks may hit new highs. But it's against this bullish backdrop that investors should watch out for complacency. So I thought I'd tell you what's on my worry list. Well, number one, US real interest rates are beginning to rise. That's interest rates adjusted for inflation. At 2.3%, this is tight and often is a herald of problems in areas, weaker areas of financial markets. We've already seen a sharp downturn in commercial real estate, amplified by climate, building regulations and, of course, work from home. So watching your portfolio for hidden areas of leverage, which could be damaged by rising real rates. My second worry is the surge in bond issuance around the world, particularly from the US government. The Congressional Budget Office, their watchdog if you like, indicated that US debt to GDP ratio will go through the World War II peaks somewhere in 2029. And as a result of this on the right-hand panel, you can see those red bars, interest rate payments, will eat more and more of the underlying budget, just as spending on healthcare and defence across the US and Europe needs to rise. So watch out for a possible repeat of the trust experience, where the government puts through spending cuts or tax, spending increases or tax cuts, but the market won't buy it and the bond market vigilantes are back. So watch for policy credibility. Thirdly, equity valuations have inevitably been rising, and US equities are now trading on somewhere around 22 times forward uh, using my fact set data. If you go back 20 years, in fact, all markets were trading around 16 times, so you've seen this big elevation in the US valuations, but by contrast, UK valuations are just 11 times. Now, part of this is because of the industry distribution. We don't have many tech stocks in the UK. But it's a message that markets outside the US are cheaper and offer value opportunities going forward, as we've seen, for example, in Japan. On the right-hand panel, too, I've shown some of the style dispersions and just reminded people how cheap small cap, value and dividend yield have got for investors and are a possible source of diversification. Fourth and finally, I'm worried about trade barriers and the reversal of decade-long trends towards globalisation. The IMF in that left-hand chart shows the growth of tariffs restrictions imposed annually. It's risen almost five-fold in the last six years. And of course, if, if the Trump uh, White House were to take control in November, you must remember that Trump and his administration are big believers in tariffs. What does this mean? Well, it means world trade volumes rolling over, a much more challenging market for China, and companies rushing to implement friendshoring or domestic reshoring of supply chains. So this is a pivot to the globalisation which is built into many portfolios today. So in conclusion, what do we need to watch for? Well, first of all, US real rates are rising. So watch for more fragile assets, particularly those with high leverage. Secondly, bond supply is surging. So watch for a policy credibility risk, as we saw with PM Trust, and look for markets with natural buyers like pension funds. 
It's really equity valuations are high, so be aware of rising valuations and particularly equity concentration risk. Evaluate other investment styles like dividends. Finally, on trade, new barriers are reversing decade-long globalisation, so limit Chinese exposure and favour domestic or friendly supply chains. Well, I hope these guidelines are useful. I hope they will help you navigate markets for the remainder of 2024.